So uh, E Town came out, he started on the 8 0 run. So, what did you have to, you called a quick timeout. So, what did you say to the guys? Got in there? Well, you know, hats off to them. They played extremely hard, and, you know, any James Harris team that's out there is going to play hard no matter what kind of talent he's got. You know, so hats off to them. They played extremely hard, and I told our guys, I said, you know, you've got a target on the back, so you're going to get their best shot tonight. And we did early. You know, they came out, the adrenaline was high, they made some tough shots and big shots, and we lost focus and lost some coverage in our scout report, but overall, you know, we settled down second quarter, we started getting stops, and then we were able to play Taylor County basketball. You know, get out in transition, get some easy buckets. Uh, you know, that's what we have to do. That's our forte. You know, I tell them all the time, you know, if you want to get the rubber reader, you want to have any type of success, you've got to sit down and get stops. And you see where Quentin, you know, his, it just went falling. I mean, he was right there at the rim. He's going to have those nights, but I always tell him there's two things you can always control. You can always control how hard you guard and how hard you rebound. And, you know, I thought we did a better job of that going into the second quarter. Speaking of Quentin, he has a foul jump the night for sure he had four fouls. So how's the game changed? Well, I was proud of our depth. You know, Cameron Morgerson, Whopper, and you know, we usually play a little bit more guys than that. But you know, it's a, John Shooting usually plays a lot, but they don't have a big post, so it's kind of hard to get him, you know, in that game. But I thought our depth, our bench was great. You know, uh, we'll usually play more guys like Eric Quinn and Will Miller, but they had a JV game tonight and their legs were dead, so our bench got you know a little tighter. But overall, I thought our bench was great. Uh, Brandon Berry played phenomenal tonight. You know, if a college coach was in the building, he definitely would have got a scholarship, and um, he, he was awesome. I mean, he did everything from rebound and guarded. Big time shots down the stretch. Uh, I was proud of him. So, uh, just based on the back of the team, the fact that this team beat you in the region last year, how sweet it to come back and be this year? Well, I mean, when you get a win on the road, that's, that's a good thing. And no matter the talent or who you're playing, in a hostile environment like this is a great atmosphere. Uh, you know, against a good, well-coached E-Town team, it, it's a good W. Obviously, we want to win by more, but a W is a W. You know, you know, it doesn't matter if we win by 50 or win by 10, as long as you get a win on the road. If we can win on the road like that, we're going to be fine. Uh, we had a conversation earlier when you said they graduated six or seven seniors. So, uh, how did that change their team? Anything different about them? Actually, you know, with Harding last year, they were big inside, but I thought Guy Williams and Zach makes them quicker. You know, they don't, they don't have a post presence, but I think they can spread you out a little bit better and, and you know, tack you a little bit more off the balance. And they did tonight. We we lost focus a lot, you know. We, it's, it's, it's a tough thing when you play a team like Indianapolis Cathedral tomorrow and to not look ahead. And you can tell in that first quarter, you know, I told those guys, I said, you can't come in here and they're just not going to lay down. I said, you can't be looking ahead. we got to take care of business here first, and then we can get to Cathedral tomorrow. Um, but, no, I mean, they played well. It's big shots. Uh, you know, they definitely should not be overlooked, that's for sure. So you talked about the game in Indianapolis. Uh, so uh, what are you expecting from there? Uh, what's the uh, talent like where are going? Well, the team that we're playing, uh, they're one of the better teams in 4A. So you know, anytime you play a 4A team in Indiana, they could easily be top 10, top 10 in the state, in the state of Kentucky. Uh, Indianapolis Cathedral has a track record of having really good athletes to come out of that school and good basketball players, good football players. So to play them on a neutral floor in the fourth biggest gym in the country, it's going to be a heck of a test and it'll be a regional type game atmosphere. It's something that we need early and I don't mind to take a loss, you know, to, to gain off that. Not saying we're going to go up there and lose, but it's not where we're going to, it's going to be a hostile environment, it's a neutral floor, it's a team we've never seen before, only on film. So it's going to be a great test for us early, and I did that on purpose on the schedule to get more games like that to get us better towards March. Best of luck tomorrow and good win tonight, Coach.